Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tasta Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you today how to make mochi from Waffles and Mochi on Netflix. And if you see anything that I'm using that you could use, check the link in the description below. It should be able to help you out. So to make my mochi, I am going to show you how I'm going to mix the color for mochi. I'm mixing gum paste here. You could use fondant with this if you added Tylos powder or CMC powder, it's called, to make it stiffer. But yeah, you could, in this situation, you could. But I am starting with pink food coloring, just straight up pink food coloring. And as you saw, I only put a little bit on there. I mixed it through. You saw how I need it. I used one hand, then the other, back and forth. And now I'm adding a little bit, maybe twice the volume or one and a half times the volume of creamy peach food coloring to make this color. So when you mix them together, it's not quite peach. It's definitely not quite pink. It's just kind of a nice in-between color, and that's what I'm going for. And this is also, I think, you know, the color of Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants, too. Now, when I'm making my ball here, I don't want any seams to show. And I'm making it nice and round, and I'm trying to pull and fold and work it so that all my lines, my creases, my seams, you see them all there? I'm now pinching and pulling all of them to one spot, and then I cut it off. And that way, when you make a ball like this... You won't have any cracks or any lines or any seams that are going to show. So it's like a little trick of the trade I'm sharing with you here. Now I am making my mochi nice and round, but it's not perfectly round like a ball. It is a little flatter. I keep saying it. I have no idea if mochi is supposed to be a boy or a girl or what, but mochi is a mochi. And I personally love mochi. I think it's very tasty. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend it. All right, now that I've got my mochi, I'm going to go halfway through. You see I put a little dot in the middle there, halfway up, halfway down, whatever. That's where the mouth is going to be. So now I'm going to take two black beads, and I'm going to use them for eyes. I just shoved one in, and it popped right out. So I had to put some water in to make the candy actually stick into it. So this time, because I learned, I'm going to put a little hollow using the back of my paintbrush, add a little water pop another little candy bead in and now mochi has two little black eyes if you don't have these little candy pearls no worries just use two little black pieces of gum paste or fondant either way will work now for the mouth i'm going to take a small small circle going to cut out uh, not even in half maybe a little bit less than half of my circle and then just gently round the two sharp edges there on the corner and then place my little teeny tiny mouth Right between Mochi's little teeny tiny eyes, and now Mochi is happy. And <laughs> I just think Mochi's so cute. I just couldn't stand it. I seem to really like all these um these characters like that that are nice and clean and smooth and symmetrical. I just really like them. Like I made uh, the marshmallows that were alive and cloudy with a chance of uh, meatballs too, the little food animals and everything. And I made a bunch of them, but the marshmallows were so cute. I just I just prefer those simple, clean little little figures. Anyway, back to my mochi. I made two little rectangles, as you see, out of that same little piece of gum paste that I'm working with. Make sure they're even. I added a little bit too much water to that one, and it smeared when I moved the eyebrow. So you just take a clean paintbrush with clean water on it, brush it over top, and then just use a paper towel, your finger, wipe it away. That'll get rid of any stains that you might make. Now, to make mochi look more mochi-ish, because he's it mochi i don't know is very felt looking like kind of fuzzy and soft and powdery looking like a mochi and so i'm taking powdered sugar and i am just dusting it with my finger i tried using the paintbrush you see there but it more swept everything off so i'm using my fingers to just kind of pat and smooth powdered sugar all over mochi's little mochi body and i'm just pushing it and dusting it around and I'm kind of going a little bit heavy around that one eyebrow that I had to correct with some extra water because, of course, it sucked up the powdered sugar. But by doing this and then going over the little facial features with a damp paintbrush, it takes off any powdered sugar that might have stuck. So now the black features are nice and bright. And mochi is mochi. So I hope you found this video enjoyable. It's short and sweet, but very cute. So please like and subscribe. It does help me out. Check out my many other videos. I got a ton out there. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tasta Cakes.